the highlands of Papua New Guinea, a place so remote that the people who live here are among the most isolated on Earth. One of the native tribes, the Matausa, practices an ageless ritual so secret that it has never before been witnessed by some members of the tribe, much less filmed. Tomorrow will be the day of Pune Felio's initiation. The stakes are high. A boy may not marry or take on the privileges of adulthood until he has completed the rite. Pune's father supports his son's decision. Those who become too scared to participate eventually find out that they are less attractive to women, and they don't have the same energy as others in making gardens, building houses, or walking long distances. They live a miserable life as bachelors until the time of their death. I am born here to be a man to protect my family, tribe, and my people. The most important thing is to go through the initiation to realize my role as a man in my community. For thousands of years, that role was often brutal. Traditionally, Highland people lived in a near constant state of tribal warfare and could be expected to take part in raids, kidnappings, murders, and cannibalism at some point in their adult lives. It is the morning of the Matausa initiation ceremony. Along a sacred creek, the elders prepare for the painful blood rite. Just downstream, novices wash and wait. It is their traditional belief that to become men, they must expel the contaminating influences of women. When our mothers gave birth to us, some of their blood remains in us, which is considered unclean. When we do the ritual, it helps get rid of the rubbish that is stored in our system and purifies us. This is the whole purpose of the exercise. Elders shove several feet of pit pit cane down the backs of their throats, then pull it out so they retch again and again. Then it's the novice's turn. Pune empties his stomach into the stream. Next, to get rid of contaminants they may have breathed, the men ram sharp reeds deep into each other's nostrils. To complete their passage into manhood, Pune and the others must expose themselves to one more bloodletting. This time, they will cleanse another part of the body that was exposed to female polluted food, their tongue. The razor sharp arrow slices tender flesh again and again. Pune steals himself for his final challenge. Finally, the stream washes away the last of their blood. They return to the campsite and their community as men. <laughs>